Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The close range meta here in Warzone Season 3 is looking a little bit different, a little bit more competitive in some ways, more so than others. I wanted to go through the newly updated close range meta and give you guys the best weapons and builds to be using right now. Starting first with one of my new personal favorites, the Striker 9. This thing actually caught a slight buff to its effective damage range with Season 3. It was already a really competitive SMG. There's a lot of viable setups for this thing, and it's easy to use. It kills quick and it moves quick so it's checking all the right boxes initially this setup is a little bit more aggressive than one that i've been using lately i am going for the zem 35 compensator i use this on a ton of my subs because it's really convenient for close range fights it keeps your gun super easy to use and doesn't really kill anything outside of your ads speed by five percent like that's the only relevant thing here and we gain that back so easily with other attachments like for instance the dr6 hand stop which speeds up your movement speed your strafe your ads and your sprint to fire i've actually gone from using a long barrel on here to extend that effective damage range by a few meters to using the dr6 hand stop and i just feel like i'm flying and frying we got the 50 round extendamag there pretty basic i don't love the iron sights here so i just go for a night r model 2023 and then no stock on here even with the recoil cons this thing is so easy to use in the close range that the mobility benefits heavily outweigh the cons in this case uh, like i said i love the feel of this thing it's just kind of doing it all it's flying it's frying it's feeling great the Wasp 9 is also a great contender this season as well, sort of indirectly because we saw some nerfs to some other top tier subs. This now becomes even closer to being right there with the best of the best. Again, very easy to use, very reliable, crazy good damage range for an SMG as well. Here again, we've got the Zem 35 Compensator, and I also go for the DR6 Hand Stop here once more. In this case, I go for the Short Light Barrel, it just speeds things up a tad bit with your general sprint speed, your ADS speed, your sprint to fire for very minimal recoil cons here. 50 round Xenomag is plenty the fire rate here does not go crazy so you got all the ammo in the world basically for any kind of fight then i go for the glassless optic again the irons here just a little bit too bulky if you want to use you know a slate a night R, whatever optic you're the most comfortable with and the most accurate with always go for that here and for me it's glassless i love that sight and it also adds in some firing aim stability which is never a bad thing now the base striker or the striker 45 is also a great choice this season again its mobility is really really good it's also very easy to use and it's a relatively reliable smg even through the mid-range as well i do like the irons here a little bit more than over on the striker 9 despite the gun being invisible so we do get an extra attachment out of that in this case i'm going for the light stock speeds up the movement speed a little bit here you could try no stock but just with the iron sight build than sort of how this weapon feels with its gun kick i don't love killing the control in this case but it's a viable option if you know what you're doing it's not the worst thing in the world it just is a lot more difficult to use than something like the light stock would be but you're also going to be faster so just keep that in mind we got the 48 round extendamag you could also jump up to 60 if you want to no wrong answer there dr6 hand stop and the zem 35 compensator yet again then in this case i do go for that long barrel it extends that effective damage range out to 15 meters which is really impressive for a sub so this thing is very versatile just as a base smg i love that now of course the renetti has to be mentioned in the close range meta this thing is going crazy with its ttk in the close range its mobility is a little bit lacking compared to some of the faster subs and that's why i think some players will still lean towards some of those smgs instead plus you can't buy this at a buy station which is another drawback but but if you just got your sights up with this thing, very few things are going to be able to outgun you in that close range for sure. So the most important part here is this Ferocity Carbine Kit, turning it into a fully automatic SMG pistol hybrid there, basically. I go for the 50 round Xenomag, very basic there, Zem 35 Compensator yet again. Really don't like the irons in this case, especially when you get out to 10, 15, 20 meters. So a Night R works great there. And then I go for the Ravage 8 stock, just makes the gun a little bit easier to use with some better control. Relatively minimal uh, mobility cons with that as well. So yeah, this thing is going absolutely nuts this season. Now, the FJX Horus in terms of TTK isn't really going to be anything all that crazy. What this thing does have going for it, though, is movement. And what I've done with this build is go all in on tax stance. Your movement speed and tax stance with this goes absolutely nuts, and it really throws off players in gunfights. So while it is a little bit more gimmicky than some other subs, this does have a spot, I think, in a movement meta style situation. If that's your thing, this is such a fun gun. So initially here, the only non tax stance focus is gonna be the basic 48 round Xenomag there. It's kind of a no brainer. Now the Ripper Light Stock goes pretty hard on mobility and decent tax stance spread. We also go for the Verdant uh, Laser, the Verdant Hook. It helps out with tax stance spread and your sprint to fire as well. 
the ruse light 90 barrel is just simply there because i needed a fifth attachment and this helps out with some general movement speed and makes it a tad bit faster and then the bastion angled grip also goes crazy on your tack stand spread too so this thing is incredibly accurate and it moves in that tack stand scenario really really fun uh even though it's ttk like i said isn't anything all that crazy and by the way as we are going through all the loadouts here today if you're new to the channel every single day i got you covered with all things going on in cod whether it's news patch notes meta breakdowns it's all going to be right here so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications and if you enjoy this video or if you find it helpful do me a favor and drop a like on it it's always really appreciated and it does really help the channel grow now what does have a great ttk is the hmr9 this thing goes absolutely nuts as well fast killing also incredibly fast moving as well the mobility and the ttk combination here is what makes this my personal favorite smg in the game so initially zem 35 compensator yet again and the dr6 hand stop that deadly duo i go for the thorn 90 barrel just for that better mobility across the board although if you wanted to extend the range some princeps is a good option too and it gives you those clean grow iron sights 50 round extended mag very basic then i go for the light stock here uh with that better ads speed better strafe speed general movement speed benefits there too ton of fun with this thing like i said it's been my favorite smg for some time and it's so good uh this season now alongside some of the other close range meta options i like to include some sniper support choices in the close range meta as well there's actually a few mw2 guns that hold this uh category down pretty well uh the chimera for instance is a great choice really good ttk in the close to mid range relatively easy to use as well so initially here don't love the irons i don't hate them but i feel like i'm way more accurate when i do use an optic so for instance an elo site would be great a glassless optic would be great as well whatever again you are the most comfortable with there 45 run cinemag is the max in this case and that works nicely i go for the angled under barrel here helps out with that horizontal control and only hurts your vertical that's it which is not a huge deal for close range no ads cons nothing like that going on Vorpal Barrel gives me better range, better uh, control, and slightly better strafe speed, which is a nice like little trio going on there, a little bit of something uh, everywhere in terms of the stat boost there. And then we also got the Zem 35 Compensator yet again. Surprise, surprise. Uh, for an MW2 gun, like I said, this really does well holding its own. Hey everyone, wanted to take a quick second and chat about my friends over at G Fuel. If you're looking to stay focused, energized, or just hydrated, they've got you covered all around with their normal tubs, their hydration tubs, and their cans. A couple of my personal favorites at the moment gotta be sage mode hydration watermelon mint and also star fruit now if you're looking to try g fuel for the first time they got sample packs those are perfect for just finding out which flavors you prefer and then once you're set there grab a full-on tub and restock on your favorites and whatever you're looking to pick up if you throw in code immortal at checkout you'll get yourself a nice little discount the link for that will be down in the description below if you're interested now the advancer is another great close to mid-range option as well again relatively easy to use and it's got good dpm like good movement for a rifle all across the board it's checking the right boxes here again irons i'm a little bit iffy on so if you want to use an mk3 reflector a slate a glassless go for it i find myself to be more accurate with that especially when you get into like 25 30 40 meter ranges the 60 run extended mag is going to be a little bit slower for some close range but 45 with the fire rate isn't as much as i'd like to have the 60 is just that added safety net so i'll sacrifice the mobility for that personally but that's up to how you want the gun to feel i actually really like the choke angled grip in this case uh it gives me some better strafe speed some better movement speed and it also attacks the horizontal recoil as well so some nice uh combination benefits there 435 barrel is better control uh better velocity on here as well and then i also go for the cassis break just to make the weapon really really easy to use across the board pretty consistent once you get the feel of this thing and it will knock players pretty quickly now while it was nerfed the ram 9 is still a decent competitive option for the close range here while it's ttk won't be as crazy as it was last season it's still right up there with some of the better choices especially in its first damage range or so there so as long as you're playing aggressive with this thing it's still going to be able to knock players uh, and compete with the other top tier smgs and other close range meta options just fine surprise surprise we got the zem 35 and the dr6 hand stop i do go for the imperator light barrel here especially now that it's extending that effective damage range that's so important post nerf to get that better ttk out to 12 meters in this case 50 round extended mag very basic and then i do just like the consistency of some better control on this especially with an iron sight build so i go for the 3.4 pad stock personally just helping out with some general control across the board there it's easy to use it's not going to be as good as it was in season two but it's still a good choice.
And because we saw nerfs to things like the Ram 9, for instance, the Swarm is indirectly a little bit more competitive. Really, this thing is the most viable in its effective damage range, which is only about eight meters with this setup on it. But if you're in those eight meters, yeah, this thing is nice. Plus, we got the 100 round drum, which I love. It's so overkill, and I say this all the time, 50 is realistically the more competitively well-rounded choice. But if you got 100 rounds to spray and pray, I think you should do it. I also go for the 2023 NIDAR on here yet again. The Reckless 90 Long Barrel is super important because it does extend that effective damage range with that fast TTK. So this is what really gives it a chance to compete. And then again, no brainer here is M35 Compensator and the DR6 Hand Stop once more. And then lastly here, the AMR9. Yes, it was nerfed. It's not going to have that absolutely nuts TTK in the close range or even the long range anymore, but it's still going to be competitive in the close range. And even in the mid range, this does extend beyond beyond a lot of other SMGs in that category in specific or that area in specific here. This setup's still going to be a little bit more aggressive though so you can compete while you're running and gunning. Zem 35 Compensator yet again. In this case, I, go, I do go for the uh, Skeletal Vertical Grip. This will help out some with your vertical control, your general gun kick, but also the ADS and the Sprint to Fire, which is a nice little double benefit there. Control and uh, some mobility all in one. 50 round Extendamag, very basic. The Elo Sight, Glassless Slate, whatever optic you're the most comfortable with. Then I go for the Buffer Tube Stock helps out a ton with that mobility across the board hurts the control but honestly it's not that noticeable especially with an optic on here and in the close range it won't be too difficult to navigate whatsoever so the close range meta has a lot of really really good options right now there are a few standouts but for the most part it's very well balanced across the board with some sniper support and then obviously the solid smgs uh pretty much all the mw3 ones sub the rival can hold their own pretty well but that is going to do it for this one if you enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it and if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out